Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to do the crochet swimsuit cover-up. I know it's summertime and a lot of people are getting ready for the beach, but if you're like me, you're probably not ready quite yet, so I made a cover-up. So what I used for this project was the Lion Brand yarn. It's Vanish Choice. It was a four-weight yarn, um, a six-millimeter crochet hook. You will also need... Um, some stitch markers or something like this so that you can kind of see where to sew everything together. A tape measure will come in handy as well as a sewing needle if you're not going to want to do a slip stitch all the way down your um, your projects or down your panels. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're doing a double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch in a pattern. So if you know how to do those type of stitches, then this should be easy for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will put in the description box below the measurements on how to determine what size you need. So go ahead and make yourself a slip knot and then let's get started. I'm going to start with a chain of 80 because in my case, I wanted to make an extra large cover up and I wanted it to be about 32 inches across so that's about how many stitches I needed so because this project is customizable you can um, the the amount of foundation chain is going to be different for each person um, so go ahead and make your foundation chain and then you're going to do a single crochet stitch across the row and I did um, three rows of single crochet stitches. So go ahead and complete your single crochet stitch. In order to do that, you're just gonna insert the crochet hook into the, into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. So I will put again in the video somewhere and also in the description box below, if you're not familiar with how to do a single crochet stitch, if you're not familiar with how to do a um, foundation chain, or even if you don't know how to uh, do your slip knot. I'll link video, um, videos in this video so that you can go back to those videos to show you how to do that. Okay, once you get to the end of your initial foundation chain, just make sure you get a stitch into the last um, stitch of the row. Okay, and then yarn over and you're going to do it again. So like I said, I did three rows in order to create like my border that's around my um, crocheted beach cover-up. So essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to create two panels that look exactly the same and then you're going to sew them together. So this is a really simple project. It can be a little tedious because we are going to work a pattern, but ultimately it is um, not difficult to do. So this is that area that I'm showing you there. That's what we're creating right now, which is the border. So I'm going to do a chain of five. So if you're watching the screen, you'll see that I did four. That was a mistake, but it wasn't enough for me to, you know, stop the camera and not do it. Um, just know that going forward, I do a chain of five at the end of the row and then turn my work. So I did a chain of five and then in the next stitch over, I'm going to do a double crochet stitch. And I did this so that way that the ends, there's not a big gap in the end of each row. So um, that's why I didn't skip over two spaces. So in this case, I'm doing a double crochet stitch. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip two stitches. And then I'm going to do a double crochet stitch in the next area, in the next stitch. So you see there, I'm going to skip those two. And then I'm going to do a double crochet stitch into that. I guess that's the fourth stitch over. Okay. Right directly next to that, I'm going to do another double crochet stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to chain two, skip two, and then do another double crochet stitch. And that's the pattern. That's the pattern for pretty much the entire project. See there? And then I'm going to go right there next to it and do another double crochet stitch. And again, if you don't know how to do a double crochet stitch, I'll link in the video how to do that, but I think you can catch on here. Okay, skip two, double crochet stitch. And this is the pattern that I chose to work with, mainly because it left um, nice size holes in the garment, 
which kind of allows for the air to flow through, especially if you're going to be wearing this on the beach. And if you want it to work with like a cotton yarn, you could do that too. This is an acrylic yarn. Um, cotton yarns are really good for beaches because, of course, they get wet, they dry pretty easily, things of that nature. I'm just not, I'm not getting in the water. <laughs> I'm just going to have a beach cover up so that when my kids are outside at the pool or if I'm going to go to somewhere out, I can have something that covers me up. Okay, and so just continue doing that all the way down your row, and let me show you, um, I think I'm going to come back on camera in a second to show you how it looks towards the end, but this is the pattern here, I'm just going to show it to you. So you did your, your foundation rows, and now we're going to do the pattern, and we just carry that pattern through the entire project. Okay, so here we're at the end here, I'm going to go ahead and do a chain of two, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet stitch in that very last stitch of the row. So in this case, I didn't end up with two at the end, but that's okay. Like I said, we're creating a pattern. So as long as you're doing the same thing throughout the project, it's still going to turn out okay. So go ahead and make yourself a chain of five when you get to the end. Just In my case, I made sure that I ended the row with a double crochet stitch. Okay. Okay, and there I go. Right into the double crochet stitch so I skipped two and then I went into the double so basically what you're doing is you're stacking your double crochet stitches right on top of each other so you're going to chain two and then in the next area that has double crochet stitches you're going to put your double crochet stitch right on top of that so it's like you don't have to think about it once you get past your first row you're just going to make sure that your double crochet stitches sit on top of one another And for this project, I believe I used five and a half to six skeins of yarn. So if you see here, we're kind of like making little boxes. It's kind of what it looks like, little bitty boxes. So. so here I am, I'm at the end of the row. I'm gonna go ahead, what am I doing here? Oh, I finished my panel and now I'm going to do my, um, my border again. So remember with the border, we're just doing single crochet stitches all the way down the row. And you'll want to have um, 80, if you had, say if you had a beginning chain of 80, you'll have 80 stitches down the row. So that's essentially what we're doing. The same thing that we did in the beginning, we're doing it now here to finish off the panel. So because we had those two chain, two spaces that were missing, you want to make sure you put two stitches in each of those areas. So in every stitch, you're going to put a single crochet stitch, basically. So you can see there what I'm doing. And this is a pretty, like I say, it's a pretty easy project. It took me a little bit longer to do just because I was trying to work a couple of projects at the same time. But really, if you just sit with it, you'll probably have this done in a couple of evenings, maybe two or three evenings. The longest part really was um, just making sure that your two sides were the same size and the sewing of them together sewing the panels together. That really was probably the most tedious part of this project. And so I don't know if I told you, um, a small size, your panels will be about 29 inches, large, um, extra large about 31 inches, and then 2X would be about 32 inches. So just kind of measure yourself and see how, how wide you need the panels to be. Okay, so pay attention here at the very end here. Let me show you something. Okay, when you get to your first row of single crochet, you see how you have that this chain of five? I'm going to slow it down there. You essentially have two crochet stitches that you're going to put a single crochet stitch in. So I went ahead and did two single crochet stitches right there. And then you have one more in the found in that chain so essentially at the very end of the very first row you're going to do three single crochet stitches and make sure you put that last one right in that chain so that the sides stay even and so that's that's the only tricky part you only have to do that twice one on this panel and then once on the other the other panel but it's at that very first row when you're making your 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 row of single crochets when you get to the end there you want to make sure you put three single crochet stitches because essentially you have three stitches there 
and just rewind if that didn't make sense when you get to the end of the row. So just continue making your single crochet stitches all the way down the row. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and finish off your work. So just go ahead and go ahead and cut your yarn. You're going to yarn over and pull through, and that's just going to create a knot at the end. And now you want to just kind of line up your project. So I just place the um, bottom panel and the top panel together and then I lined everything up along the top and then I created my neck area and so the way that I did that because I wanted it to be slouchy I just um, I measured across the top and then I divided it in fours I combined two of the measurements together and that created my neck area and then I the shoulder area was the equal the, the amount that was equal if that makes sense so this area is going to be the same as this area over here in, in terms of measurements, okay? Then you're just gonna leave an area for your arms. I did a seven inch seam there, seven inch allowance for my um, arm area. And then I just sewed all the way down to the end, I made a slit. So if you can see here, that's kind of what I've done. I've got everything kind of blocked out. And then I'll just go ahead and show you how I um, sewed everything together. So here you can see, I went ahead and stitched together the shoulder area left an opening for my neck and then I did the other shoulder area there and here around my sleeve I um, I created a single crochet stitch around so that just kind of makes the sleeve everything look really neat and pulled together so I did that there and then I sewed down the length of the um, cover-up so I left one area to show you kind of on camera but here I also left a little slit which you can see in the picture when I'm wearing it. And I also did single crochet stitches along the slit area so that it all kind of pulls together really nicely. Okay, so that's what that looks like with the single crochet stitches. So you should be able to figure out how to sew this together. I'm gonna to show you really quickly how I did that. Here, you're just gonna yarn, um, um, string up some yarn and then just kind of make sure that everything's together and then just go through two stitches, one from one panel and then one from the other, and then just sew all the way down and then secure your secure your area. So that's what I did for all of those areas. It was like four different sections that I had to sew together. And then that was pretty much how I created the crochet cover up. So I tried to be as clear as possible, not to let anyone be too long winded. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box down below. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these stitch markers, which I found came in handy. If you don't have stitch markers, you can use paper clips, you can use um, yarn, whatever you have. These are just were simple enough to use, and so that's what I used. And so this is what the project looks like once it's all flipped inside out, all of my strings are cut off, and then this is what the project looks like when I wear it. So anyway, thanks, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below or hit me up on my website or um, Instagram. And I will, um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that as well. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.